we had seen that if we represent rational numbers in decimals, they either terminate or after the decimal you see a sequence of digits that repeat. So they are either terminating or recurring. But if I write irrational numbers in a decimal form, they do not terminate and also there is no particular sequence in which the digits repeat. That is, they are non-terminating and non-recurring also. Now, rationals plus irrationals. So I have a number system. I initially had rationals. Now what I do is I include the irrationals to my system and what I get is real numbers. Now real numbers is all the collection of numbers which are rationals and irrationals. I collect all this and I represent this set or this collection of numbers by this capital letter R. So this is how I represent real numbers. Now let's look, look at real numbers on the number line. We started with natural numbers. The least natural number is 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we move on in this direction. Infinite, there are infinite numbers in this direction. So I have this arrow here. This is how I represented natural numbers on a number line. Natural numbers represented by the capital letter N. What I did is I added a 0 to this. And I called that collection as whole numbers. Which is represented by W. Now whole numbers, the least whole number is 0. And I have again infinite numbers in this direction. So an arrow there. If I include negative numbers to this collection, what I get is integers. Now integers are represented by the capital letter Z. Or you can represent it by I also. Capital letter I would also do. So Z or I both represent integers. Now to my whole numbers, I added negative numbers. So I have now infinite numbers in both the directions. Two arrows, infinite numbers in both the directions. So this is how I can represent integers on a number line. Now after integers, there was a question that whether numbers between two integers can be represented on number line. And we had fractions for that. So I included fractions to my integers and I got rational numbers which is represented by this letter Q. So numbers between integers plus numbers between integers which are fractions got included in this system which is the rational numbers. But now you can see that all numbers in the line were not included. So further what we did is we included irrational numbers to the rational numbers and we say that collection as real numbers. So real number is actually a line. This entire number line is the line representing real numbers. That is, any point on this line is actually a real number. So you mark any point on this line that gives me a real number. And there are infinite points. So infinite points make this entire line which is continuous and which represents the real numbers.